सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सॉल्व टू प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू ब्लॉक डायग्राम रिडक्शन टेक्निक सो सो एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट द प्रॉब्लम्स आर गोइंग गेट टफर सो दिस इज वन काइंड ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम दैट इज वी नीड टू फाइंड द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन यूजिंग ब्लॉक डायग्राम रिडक्शन सो या लेट्स विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम so first thing here in order to reduce the block you, you can see that so here we have these two take off points here so in order to first uh, make this simpler you need to make some changes okay yeah first i'll write that uh, block here then i'll explain you that how those changes are ha happening okay so first thing that uh, first thing this summing point remains the same okay this block g1 again remains the same so this summing point again so all the all the things remain the same only few changes are there that i am just drawing you and i'll explain you g2 again remains the same this summing point g3 c of s r of s okay so here one change is this H1, H2, H1, H2, H3. So these all are connected to this single takeoff point. Okay. So this is the changes that I have made. So I hope few of the students who are uh, who have got the hang of this uh, problems, you have have understood that uh, why I have written like this. For those who do not understand, I'm I'm going to tell you that how I wrote this circuit like this block diagram like this. I have just interchanged the positions. That's it. What I have done is here you can see that in this G3 and this summing point. you can see that this uh, summing point position uh, this take off point position is for this summing point here okay so if this take off point is here so let's uh, don't consider this take off point okay uh, uh, think that this take off point is not there only consider this take off point only and it is connected to this summing point here okay so if this it is if this is connected here you can see that if there is no take off point here these two are in series so these both gets multiplied and uh, h it becomes h1 h2 and it is connected to output so that's all i've done here uh, in in instead of like this complex here i've just reduced to a simpler form and i've written it like this same goes with uh, this node here so here we can see that this node uh, this take off point is connected to this summing point and here if we uh, not consider this point so here we can see that this is h1 and it's directly connected to output so here I have written a block H1 and and I have connected here again same thing, and same goes with here. Okay, if these two uh, takeoff points would not be there, these three would be in series. So I have written it H1, H2, H3, and I have connected the same uh, to the same point again. Yeah. So in this way, I have reduced this block diagram. So not reduced, I have just simplified it. So now we are going to reduce it. So now the reduction process again. You know that we have solved many pro two problems. so here this is a minor loop again uh, 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 reduce this minor loop then we would be getting in series multiply them again we would be getting a minor loop reduce that these two again would be getting in series multiply them and again we would be getting a final minor loop that's all so yeah i'm going to quickly simplify this uh, as i've told you the steps this g1 would be remaining as it is Summing point again remains G two. So here this is a minor loop, so it would be it would become G three divided by one plus G three into H one H two. Okay, and C of S. Okay, so here we have H one right H one. and here we have h1 h2 h3 right here so next step is these two are in series multiply them 
आर ऑफ एस जी वन सो कन्वर्टेड इंटू अ सिंगल ब्लॉक सो मल्टीप्लाई देम जी टू जी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस जी थ्री एच वन एच टू सी ऑफ एस सो दिस इज एच वन दिस इज एच वन एच टू एच थ्री so here you can see that again we have a minor loop here so again reduce it g1 so this summing point goes you will be writing it in a single block c of s it would be g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 h1 h2 whole divided by 1 plus g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 h1 h2 into h1 right yeah and here we have h1 h2 h3 okay so here again these two are in series multiply them and after multiplying we would be reducing uh, reducing it in single block then again we would be having a final minor loop and you would be getting your final answer okay so yeah i have already uh, multiplied them after multiplying those two and i have written it in a single block we would be getting g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 h1 h2 whole divided by 1 plus g of s into uh, h of s that is h1 okay i multiplied it so again we have a final minor loop here okay before uh, solving for that minor loop we can cancel this uh, denominator terms right by taking the lcm in the denominator so that we would be doing first in order to make our problem simpler so after the cancellation of 1 plus g3 h1 h2 in both the numerator and denominator what would be getting g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 h1 h2 plus h1 g2 g3 okay h1 h2 h3 so now this is a final minor loop now okay hope you understood this how i have reduced this like this so what i have done is i have just taken the lcm here in the denominator part after taking the lcm we would be having the same uh, deno denominators in both these uh, numerator and denominator that is 1 plus g3 h1 h2 i have just cancelled them and i have uh, written all the remaining terms okay so now here this is our final minor loop so final our uh, transfer function which we would be obtaining like here is that is g of s that is g1 g uh, g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 h1 h2 plus h1 g2 g3 whole divided by 1 plus g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 h1 h2 plus h1 g2 g3 into h of s that is h1 h2 h3 okay so now again the same thing taking the deno uh, lcm in the denominator and cancelling these two terms out so after cancellation what we would be remaining is g1 g2 g3 divide whole divided by 1 plus g3 h1 h2 plus h1 g2 g3 plus these two multiplication g1 g2 g3 h1 h2 h3 so this is your final transfer function after solving okay after the cancellation of these two terms so hope you understood this problem very well so here the trick is only understanding the block diagram so here in this case the block diagram here it was a bit twisted and it was not uh, clear 
because we have few takeoff points here which were uh, intersecting here what i have just done is i have just replaced it in, into a simpler form then the things are very very easier we have minor loops here one above the other and we need to solve it okay that's all so hope you enjoyed this session about uh, block diagram reduction so in the next session we will be solving one more higher level problem okay one tougher block so it will be interesting see you guys in that video please like share subscribe thank you